Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. A while back I made this Easy Hell Tech ESP32 LoRa setup video, and this commenter here asked about sending data to the Things Network or any private server, and this question's been kind of nagging me at the back of my mind. I worked on this Raspberry Pi uh, Mozilla Internet of Things gateway a while back, sort of go in the direction of answering that question. Ultimately, when you're talking about having devices communicate, you're going to need to work with an MQQT broker, essentially. So here's a free MQQT broker. This is mqqthq.com. And it's really simple. You just take these two parameters, the URL and the TCP port. We're going to download this mqtt.fx. It's a Java FX based MQQT client. So go ahead and download that here. And then we're going to be working with the M5 stick C with an environment hat in UI flow. And we're going to send MQQT messages from M5 stick C using mqqthq.com uh, mqqt broker. I'm going to be saying a lot of mqqt apparently. So here I'm just setting up the program a little bit. We start, we set the screen rotation, we set the font, then we're going to connect to Wi-Fi. And when the Wi-Fi is connected, we're going to start up the mqqt sender. Essentially, we're going to set the server and the port. We don't need a client ID, user, or password. The keep alive is 300 seconds. So that's all we had to do is put in the URL for the MQQT broker and the port based on this information here. Now this is not a private MQQT broker. This is public. So I'm going to show you later on virtually anybody can see what you're sending on this mqqthq.com. So we start MQQT, then we're going to loop. And here we just print connected because, well, the Wi-Fi is connected up above. And then we're going to set a variable named temp to the value of the temperature sensor. And of course, I'm in the state, so we have to convert it to Fahrenheit. So I'll multiply it times 1.8 and add 32. Yes, uh, Celsius would be confusing to me. And then we're going to print that on the screen. And then you see the light blue MQQT block again. We're going to publish a topic named ST temp. And we're going to send that variable temp. And then we'll wait 300 seconds. So every five minutes, basically, we're going to publish this ST temp topic with the value of the temperature hat sensor calculated to Fahrenheit. This is so I can know what the temperature is in my office without going to my office. So here's this MQTTFX. It's a client. It can mimic a publisher and it can also mimic a subscriber. So we're going to go ahead and connect this MQQT.FX uh, client to public mqqthq.com at port 1883. Now here's why I'm going to demonstrate that this isn't a private server. You can scan and see all of the topics that are published here. I'm looking for stt temp as a topic. I'm looking for st temp as a topic, but you can see other people's topics published there as well. And you could subscribe to them by right clicking on them. In the meantime, we're just going to manually add ST temp up at the top in the subscribe area because it's still scanning and it's taking a while. And so you can see our subscription here and it's really just waiting for that M5 stack to queue another message on public.mqqthq.com. Wow, see, there we got our first message, ST temp, and it's got a date stamp. And we can see the temperature in my office is 77.684 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to get this message every five minutes. 
let's go ahead and take a look at our M5 stack with the environment hat attached and we'll see what's on the display as well. Since this is my first time working with message queuing, I wanted to take the simplest approach and using a free public broker was just so simple because I didn't need to mess with device ID, username, and shared access key, etc. You're going to need all that for private brokers like Azure IoT or Amazon. There you can see STTemp does show up in the topics collector now. It's still finding other topics on the public mqtthq.com broker. So again, a reminder, this is a public MQTT broker, so you could subscribe to any of these. So you don't want to put any vital information out on a broker such as this. Here you can see it's five minutes later and I just got my second message in my client here. And we can see the temperature is 77.954 degrees in my office. Okay, so that's how to use this free MQTTHQ.com message broker. And we're going to work to integrate it with the Mozilla WebThings Gateway. And we also want to integrate MQTT with the IoT Hub in Azure. And I also have the official The Things Network Gateway and I'm going to be hooking that up soon, so stay tuned. And hopefully we can get around to answering this question from this video here. Thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe. Check out some of these other videos. And thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.